Now, I know Amazon isn't necessarily the best place to buy car parts from, but you can get a few things every now and again that can have a big impact on your vehicle overall. This video, I'm gonna go over some of my favorite Amazon purchases made for this Q50. Now, I'm not gonna put this video in any particular order, but I am gonna say that my favorite, my favorite overall purchase from Amazon is gonna be tucked in here somewhere in the middle, so pay attention. And you're never gonna believe that it's even true, so make sure you stick around. First thing that I can actually think of is this little guy right here. The blue start stop button surround it actually comes as a two-piece it's the ring and the button itself i just chose to use the ring because i think it's a nice little touch of blue matches my calipers matches the gauges i love it the second thing i'm going to say is these little shoulder pads for your seat belts they're a little gimmicky a little bit cheap they're i don't want to say cheap they're inexpensive about 14 or 15 dollars something like that and they don't fit on the fronts but they give the back seat a little bit of character i leave them on i like them Another Amazon item that I really enjoy for the Q50 is the sequential turn signals in the mirrors. They are a little bit more in depth in terms of insulation process, but I have a, a pretty detailed video for you on my channel, so check that out. But not too bad, just over $100, something like that. And they add a lot of character and detail to the car. It's kind of a cool little addition. One of my favorite Amazon purchases, and it's, it's a cool second, I gotta say. It is the Akibono Big Brake Upgrade, and I will just say it's the calipers. If you guys are not following along on Instagram, I definitely recommend it. I share the deals that I come across for these big brake calipers all the time. You can get some great deals on Amazon and you can customize them all you want and they turn out great. If you follow my paint and prep video on my channel, guys, follow along, you're gonna miss out. These are sick. You can save a ton of money going this route. Like seriously, spend half as much as you would if you bought the complete kit anywhere else. Check out my big break upgrade videos and it'll give you all the information that you need. Don't forget to check the links in the description below, guys. I'll link everything that is available currently on Amazon. While we're on the topic of sequentials, I definitely like the rear reflector replacement with the sequential turn signals. I can't remember how much these are, but they're relatively inexpensive and they look cool too. They flash a little bit when you hit the brakes um, and they come on with your tail lights as well so it adds a little bit of character to your rear end but the sequential turn signal element pretty rad i got a couple items to add but i told you that my favorite would be listed here somewhere in the middle so here we are today believe it or not my favorite item that i purchased through amazon is the speed culture studios custom cat bag system Obviously you have to have it installed by a local shop, but all of the components or vast majority of the components involved in the Speed Culture cat bag can be found on Amazon. Links in the description below to that video that describes everything, but I'll also, actually that just makes it easy. I'll link to the, in the description, my Speed Culture Studios custom cat bag video. In that video, all those components are linked. If you go to my Amazon store, you'll find all of the things in one place as well. That includes the Borla Pro XS mid muffler, the Flowmaster FlowFX resonators, the tips, etc., etc. You'll find it there. It's a good video to watch, and you're gonna have one of the best sounding Q50s on the street with this setup. So that's why it's my favorite, but let's continue on. Now it's not necessarily a part, but it makes a big difference. A lot of people ask me about my eyelids. You can purchase the plastic eyelids that you stick on your headlights with two-sided tape, but I found that they wear out, they fade, they look like crap after a while, and then when you pull them off, you have a bunch of tape residue. What I did is I actually bought a roll of vinyl, gloss black, gloss black vinyl, and just laid them out and cut them out with uh, knifeless tape. Look how easy and simple that can be, and it looks great. And then when you don't like it, you just peel it off. You can replace it with whatever you want. Worked out great. And finally, on my list of favorite things that I bought for this Q50 off of Amazon, I'm going to say it is the front splitter. Now this is the non-sport version of the front splitter, and it is a three-piece, but it has held up very, very well over the course of, geez, over two years now fits really flush on the edges which is my main concern and it has held up just fine it has maintained its gloss black characteristics i did customize it slightly and put a center support piece in there with a little bit of a spacer uh, but it has held up great uh, with some uh, 3m double-sided tape as well as some small bolts and washers on the underside and some fender washers the, the fender washers are the key but it definitely adds a little bit of styling, a little bit of character, and makes that front end look a little bit lower and the non-sport bumper a lot more aggressive. With just adding that little bit of a splitter, highly recommended. I can't believe I forgot my actual favorite part for the Q. 
And that, of course, is the organizational tray for your center console. This one has been modified slightly for maybe an audio system or nitrous. Well, I don't know. But it gives you a good place to put your shades, business cards, phone, pens, whatever. And you don't have to drop it down into the abyss of the center console. Uh, I love this thing. Again, it's best $13 I've ever spent. I've said it multiple, multiple times in many, many videos over the last couple of years. Definitely worth it. Link in the description. Check it out. Finally, another favorite I'm going to throw on there is this carbon fiber duct bill. Spoiler, now they are hard to come by and they sell really, really fast. So I'll put a link in the description below to any of them that I can find on Amazon currently. That's where I purchased this one. But like I said, they sell out quick. So if you see one available, grab it right away. Uh, adds a little bit of weight to the rear end. I say weight because this car is very long in the front end and that it sort of has a stubby rear end. So it needs a nice, big, aggressive spoiler. The duckbill spoiler looks sick on this car. So highly, highly recommended. That's one of my top three Amazon purchases as well. Like I said, guys, not everything on Amazon is something that I would recommend purchasing for your vehicle, but there are things that you can come across from time to time that you can get a great deal on. I hope you found this video helpful. With tax time coming up, you might want to splurge a little bit and buy yourself a few of these little aesthetic pieces. The duckbill spoiler, the big brake upgrade is a great opportunity to save a bunch of money but increase performance substantially. And the look of your car looks really sick with those big brakes, I gotta say. Of course, guys, everything is linked in the description below. So if you saw anything in today's video that was of interest to you, go down below and click away. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate the continued support. Onward and upward for Speed Culture Studios and onward and upward for you guys as well. A lot of good stuff coming for the channel, so I hope you'll follow along. I appreciate the continued support. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.